Welcome to Shorty Supercoach and welcome to the latest player profile. We're going to take a look at one of my favourites today and that's Caleb Daniel. I think he's definitely a lock for Supercoach 2020. Even though we're a number of months away from the first bounce, I want to take a look at him. I think he's going to be a very reliable option. Now as a defender, obviously we could get him as a forward last year. Even though he definitely became the Bulldogs distributor off the half back line. Now I'm going to throw a few numbers at you. Now, he did average 99.1 last year, but he did have some troubles with the hamstring, which particularly later in the season interrupted a couple of his matches and therefore affected his scores. Firstly, before I go into those numbers, why do I like him as an option? You know, the dogs love the ball in his hands. He's a very smart ball user, good decision maker, always seems to have enough time. And just makes pretty easy options. He's just pretty easy to watch as a super coach player. He rarely takes on a kick that isn't there or, or bites off more than he can chew. He just finds a 20 meter hit up, bang, just hits him more often than not. Very reliable. And certainly the back end of 2018, if you look at the last month, his rebound 50s and touches definitely went up as he was trialed in his halfback position. And then we saw the complete package last year. And it was a pretty good package. So a few of those numbers, obviously 99.1, very healthy average. You're not going to be cheap next year, but I definitely think he's worth it. In round 15, that hamstring was the first time it sort of reared its head. Still played 80% game time, not a full match, slightly down, 88 super coach points, but more so in round 20 against the Lions, just played the 77% game time, just 79 super coach points. Now, look, they aren't disastrous games where he's scoring a 20 and his average is dropping heaps, but point being, he was affected and clearly wasn't at his absolute best towards the end of the season as you know injury really kept him out for the latter stages of 2019. The first 13 games, though, he was averaging 103.2 before those hamstrings really kicked in. So I think he's a very, very good chance for averaging the three figures, and I really like him. So what are you going to get from him? I think consistency. And look, defenders can be hard to come by, particularly when we see guys that are either key defenders that can intercept that will occasionally have those off games, or the running types, which we do see get a fair bit of attention sometimes. For whatever reason, Daniel, at least to this point in his career, hasn't got a stack of attention. My only thought probably is that he, while he's a beautiful super coach player, he probably doesn't damage you a stack as an opposition team. He's just switching the ball, having some creative kicks. He could certainly hurt you, no doubt about it. I mean, you don't give a guy who's such a good kick 25 kicks on the night. He's, he's going to hurt you. But I, I think more often than not, the dog's... Have a lot of other guys like Dunkley, McRae, Bonson, Pally, and even Johannesson off the half back line that they maybe feel can hurt you more. Daniel seems to float under the radar. That probably isn't going to happen for his whole career, but to my knowledge, I don't think he copped any real attention at all last year. And he was regularly getting 30 touches, heaps of handball receives, and just hitting up targets all day long. He's not going to give you too many 130 pluses, but equally, he's not going to go under 80 too many times. Very reliable, very consistent. I think he's the sort of guy you can just throw in your back line, no headaches. He's going to give you 90 one week and 110 the next. And I think we'll see a three-figure average from Caleb Daniels. So the switch to the back line has certainly done him favours, and I think we can reap the rewards. So let me know what you think. Let me know how you're travelling in terms of your super coach, even if it's BBL. I know I don't do it myself, but I do watch a bit of the BBL when it's on. Obviously, a game was down my neck of woods the other day. So let me know how you're traveling. If you've got any thoughts on videos you'd like to see, let me know. And I'll certainly be back with a bit more content coming up. Cheers.